Hi, my name is Lena and I'm Pearls Knitting. Uh, today is the knit cast about gold tip needles. If you would like to see the review compared to other needles, uh, my opinion, and stay here. I'll talk about it, where you can find it, what it is, who the creator is, all of that good stuff. All right, um, let me start by saying gold tip needles marketing sucks. I wish it was more known or more out there. Uh, I came to it by an accident. I was on Primrose Company, yarn company website, shopping for yarn. And I accidentally just scrolled down uh, just to see what else they have. And I saw the Notion section and the picture for the Notion section was the set. And I was wondering what it was because <laughs> I, I've never seen a needle set like that. This is something unique, something interesting. And I checked it out. I loved what I saw. I got it. And I've been playing with it for a week and a half. Um, it's they're becoming my own. I can I can feel them now more. Uh, so I can tell you all of the cons and pros and uh, my opinion about them. Uh, everything I like, everything I don't like. Uh, so if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay. Um, this set, the marketing sucks, unfortunately, which, um, I wish it wouldn't, um, because they're pretty amazing. Um, let me tell you that I found only three websites that you can purchase it from. So the first one is gold tip needle. I will link everything below. So you, you know where to buy it if you would want to, if you want to try them out, see what that, what it is, compare it for yourselves, create your own opinion. I'll link it down below. N nobody paid me. This is my opinion. I purchased with my own money. I always do. So what, um, you can purchase it on goldtipneedle.com, needles.com. Um, this is the only site that will sell separate tips, uh, cables, uh, stoppers, and cases, actually, um, separately. You can just purchase it there. Then there's two additional websites that sell the sets only. Uh, one, I'm not sure about the shipping, nor am I sure about what shipping costs are for the goldtipneedle.com. Needles? Needles, I think. Uh, but the um, Amazing Threads dot com has the set i don't know what the shipping is uh they have some information about it there uh the most information that i found would be on the uh, primrose yarn company website uh, that would have a little more detailed information uh the shipping is free if you go under shipping slash policies tab you will find the coupon code uh, that you can plug in and shipping will be free for you. I'm not sure about tax. I'm a PA, they're in PA. It's the, no tax there. Um, all right. What is it and how it comes to you? So the description that I found, uh, the best one, this will be from the Primrose Yarn Company. These are 100 aluminum uh, needles. Um, the cables are flexible, they're metal with nylon coating, uh, similar to Lantern Moon, Chagoose, um, Red Lace, uh, Red Twist, and Chagoose Swift 360. Uh, who else does them? I think that's it. No one else does the, the coating metal thing. Um, they are said to be kink free, and there's 10 pairs of needles sizing from size 2 to 10 uh, comes with uh, four uh, cables from 24 inch so 24 inch 32 40 and 50 and two stoppers that's what it is um now let's show what so it comes to you in a sturdy box just like actually chagu came um similar i mean similar box very luxurious black with gold tip uh, marketing logo. Uh, when you open it, there's a little card from Suzanne, the creator, uh, that thanks you for the gold tip set purchase. And then you have your case. So the case is genuine leather, very good quality with the GT um, 
engraved on it. Uh, very good zipper. It's not metal. I do not like metal. This is very soft. Soft on your nails. Uh, opens really nicely. When you open it, um, there's that. So on each side, you have smaller needles here, uh, five pairs, and the larger ones will be here. The the needle sizes are uh, uh, engraved like here, clearly marked. And then you have a little pocket here, open pocket for the cords. Two cords were here, two longer cords were here, and then you have zippered pockets. I'll show you what I have inside them, why they're bulging out a little bit. Um, and then you have the same thing on the other side, zippered pocket, and then the one that holds the cords and your needles. Everything is clearly marked. Um, it holds pretty well, although I found out that sometimes the tips fall out. So my still my preferred method of keeping the tips would be, I need to show you this, would be this, would be the elastic, because it holds them put, they never fall out, they stay put. So this will be my preferred method of storing the needles. But, um, I really like them marked. In here they're marked, but because it's black marking on gray, you can see it, but it's not as obvious as when you look at this. Clearly marked. Very good. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let me just refer back to... This is Chagu Forte set, uh, limited edition. So if you want to get it, get it while you can. Uh, you won't be able to get it anymore. This would be one of my, uh, the size of the case, this is perfect. This is what I would prefer. This is slightly larger than I would want to, but I like the little elastic holders for the tape measure. Um, this one for the scissors that I would prefer the set head. Uh, but if it's just needles, it's still okay. Don't take me wrong. This is something I would love to have because the tin, or any container that will hold my stitch markers, tightening keys, anything else. Um, I like that. Now let's get back to gold tip. Um, I like the pockets, so you can clearly uh, see that you have uh, cables there. Um, I would prefer to know what the cable lengths are. They're not marked, I don't think so. No, they're not marked. So obviously you will just gauge it by the size of the, uh, the length of the cable. And then uh, the pockets. So why is this bulging out? When it came, um, the tightening tool was actually like that. So let me, like that sticking out from here. If it's inside, um, I like the zippered pockets because it will keep stuff in. I don't like because I have to, you know, shuffle in and try to get stuff out of there like right now I do to get this uh, stopper. This is the stopper for these needles, for these cables. And I think, I believe it's aluminum. I didn't ask, it's not stated anywhere. Um, based on the sound, I believe this is aluminum. But I wanted to see if it will damage um, the material and it slightly started like gaping it. So um, I would not keep it on a cable because I like to use my cables and I don't like additional motion of taking the stoppers off and on and putting them back on so i would keep them here but i don't like when i damage the material for any reason so that's one pocket right it's not big enough to hold all of my stitch markers because i need a lot of them with any project and then i don't know what else i would need so i actually have a separate case for stitch markers which is okay i can just keep the two and i'll be set the second one, what I always, 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 always look for and need, especially with needles, is uh, a set of flexi cords or barber, knitter's barber cords. Here we go. So I always, always have these on hand and I have to have to have them with um, a stopper to hold them. This is how I hold them. I just push these ends in. And if I have to hold stitches, it will hold them. If I have to switch needles, needle sizes, cables, these are 
like the first thing that I would use. So this is a must for me. I would keep them always in one of the pockets. So this pocket is it and it fits, it fits nicely, quite nicely. And it zippers up so it stays safe there and it fits this little thing there too. So for now it will live there. All right, um, but it kind of changes the shape a little bit. So that's what I don't like. If, if, if that was a, an elastic here to hold some kind of tin or something like that, it might be good. Uh, tape measure, something like that. It could be, could be doable. It will probably close. I'm not sure because even now with everything that I have in there, it's, it's fine. See, it closes just fine but something more than that uh, might be too bulky that's that's my opinion all right let's talk before we talk about the needles themselves the tips um let's talk about cables cables are i'm gonna keep this cable in for a reason i folded it and i kept it there because i would like to compare a few like hanging side by side so you can see if they do have a kink or they don't um, so I'll, I'll include the picture, um, of the clothes by. So what is it? This is a, uh, metal nylon coated. Um, I can see that I already either damaged one. No, it's something. It just had a little something there. They're not as flexible. Let me try and flex it. So they're not as flexible as let's say Swift 360 check goods are but um, they hold the shape slightly, slightly. I would want them slightly more flexible, if that'll be possible. But overall, this is better cable than some other ones. Um, what are those other ones, you ask? All right, the, this is the red twist Chegu. It's more flexible, as you can see, it's more flexible. This one is not as flexible. It's slightly more rigid, stiff. Um, this one will unfold faster. This will keep the shape slightly. That's, that's what I noticed. Um, comparing it to the Swift 360 Chagu, Let's get one out. You get one out, it completely straightens out. That's what I want you to notice because I would like to compare it to the one that I was holding there folded in the coil. And these are flexible, quite flexible. So I like the flex of Chegu's. These are more rigid and they hold the shape slightly if i will bend it if i will bend it it holds it slightly more you know what i mean so um chegu cables the flexible that they are um would be still my favorite but this compared to to lantern moon so Lantern Moon, I have a few Lantern Moon in my Luca set right here. I'll hold them. This would be very close. If I didn't know any better, I would say manufacturer was the same. I don't know any better. <laughs> if I didn't know any better. Very funny. So these are the same. Um, just slightly thicker. I like the thickness of the gold tip, this one. I'll keep it there on the dark, the back, uh, backing of the chair so you can see it, but I'll include the picture here and there. Um, this is Lantern Moon, slightly thicker. It's the same same thing. It's not as flexible as Chagoose are. And this is the, thick, the thickest one. This will be as thick as the uh, Swift 360 for large needles. That, that cable is slightly thicker than for small needles um, or the red lace. I think the thickness is the same. Yep, the thickness is the same. The gold tip is mm, by a smidge. Uh, 
narrower, just, just a smidge. And if we are to compare it to, I don't know, high highs, right? This, uh, this is a disaster. It's just, it, it, it's not a nylon coated anything. It's a nylon, but it, there's a kink there. There's a hold the shape. You can't compare the two. I, I am comparing, but you, you can't like this will not even. And a uh, disaster, but I will compare more because this is signature. This is ridiculous. If you look on their website, they say it won't kink. If this is not kinking or holding shape, what is? So, um, signature needles, cables suck. Please, if you watch, just just change something about that because that's ridiculous. I have, I have more to say about it. If you didn't know. Um, all right, so that's cables. Uh, let me. I'm just gonna check if I have anything else on the cables because sometimes I'm, I'm all over the place. I will have uh, a little review on my blog. If I miss something here, it'll be there. I'll probably even send it in a newsletter if somebody will be interested. So in a week, another newsletter is coming out with a little new recipe with a review of gold tip needles and uh, well, some other things. Um, so cables, 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 everything else is basically what I just said. Tips. Um, the tips, the needles themselves, if you look at all of them, I'm just going to hold them like that. The tip, the very tip, that golden tip is identical length for all of the sizes. So I can't really compare it to any needle out there. If I take the um, different sizes of signature needle arts, you can tell that based on the size of the needle, the tip varies in length. Um, I would prefer to have longer tip and I will explain why and why I fell in love with those long tips. Um, at first it was unusual, um, not good, not bad, unusual to just work with them, but I liked it a lot. Um, and I will tell you what it created for me and what what actually is it so let's just i'm not sure if i have no these are all fixed i have the um signature needle arts uh two i believe interchangeable needles but because they require different width here uh, different lengths of cables different width for each needle it creates uh, an expensive, expensive set. And with the cables like this, like, really? Are you, are you kidding me? Like, it doesn't, well, like, no. It's a pain in the butt to work with. I would not spend more money on Signature Needle Arts. As much as I love the needle when, it, when they just came out, because they're aluminum, they're compatible. They're aluminum. Uh, let me get the right size i guess hold on let me check so the signature needle arts thought it'll be great to color code them uh, they engrave them with the size of the needle but uh, it's hard to see depending on the color of the the base of the needle it's hard to see sometimes that size to compare them to gold tip gold tip has size clearly etched in there um, black needle, gold tip, white, uh, white lettering, gold, gold, gold. So you can clearly see it from space, you know? That's what I like to do. I, I like to see the size of the needle, not try and poke it into the, the gauge needle thing and, and see is it this size or that size. Like every time you try to, to do this, like, uh, okay, which size is it? You know what I mean? Like you, you guessing there, no guessing here. That's what I like about it. Um, so this similar, right? But a gold tip needle um, is created smarter. It's one cable. Uh, it's the same joint for all of the needles, all 10 um, sizes in a set. 
you don't need additional different width cables nothing like that and it's inter interchangeable these i have fixed because that's what i like because interchangeable come undone for me every time no matter what i would lose my stitches my patience so i love 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 the fixed um, these basically replace them they're made out of the same material um, these are not coated the tips on signature needle arts are not coated these coated um, the difference is when you work with these um, these are slightly smoother and slippier that's what i meant these are grippier uh, they have that stick uh, they're not as smooth they're smooth they're not as sleepy as as the signature needles um, the gold tip is grippier it's almost like wooden acts like wooden but it's not and the more you work with them the more slippy it becomes uh, so it's easier to move the stitches through um, one warning here if you're a tight knitter or very tight knitter you might have a problem with these uh, because of the long tip by the time you slide the stitches onto it i'm trying to onto it and onto the base it creates such a tight stitch here even but tight uh, that it's hard to push it through and then onto the needle onto the second needle easy on a cable not easy to slide it back on a needle so that's something you want to look out for um i talked to suzanne and she said she might address it and see if that could be improved or not but they do become slightly uh, sleepier as you work with them so when you work with them it takes on your personality um, the oil from your hands and all that stuff or from the yarn and it just becomes um, slightly slightly more sleepy um, easier to glide stitches that's that's what i wanted to say i will show you so i have a project and i worked with different yarns um this one i have two on spun on signature needle arts and I have an unspun yarn, same with, with same, uh, not same yarn. This one, Nutidin, this one is Wool Dreamers, uh, combined with the uh, uh, mohair silk. So if you look at Signature Needle Arts, the tip, you can glide easily, very easily. The stitches are the same um, tightness of the stitches, so you can easily glide it through the needle. Um, these I've worked with them so it became easier it's so it's quite easy I'm not saying it's not but it was much creepier in the beginning in the very beginning um, another thing that I wanted to mention is because these are anodized the, the coated the gold tip is coated when you work with them something you want to watch out for and sometimes it's I find it suiting sometimes I find it a little bit annoying but when you knit with them it creates the sound and these create the same sound here at the base where, where it's colored but not here at the tip so at the tip signature needle arts sound like metal at the base signature needle arts and the tip and the base of gold tip needle sound and feel like if you are if you were to wear a nylon jacket and you walk and that sound of your arms rubbing against your body and feel it that's that's what it is um so it depends on the mood sometimes i just feel it's amazing uh and soothing sounds sometimes i just like uh, um so that's something to look out for if you're very if you sense your experience if, if you're a very sensitive person as far as that goes um maybe purchase one if you want to experience like one needle from uh, the original website and see if it works for you then invest in the set the set uh, is reasonably priced um, I was surprised that it's only $200 for a leather case for 10 uh, needles compared to signature needle arts which let me let me let me read this to you so I was on signature needle arts website under their frequently asked questions and um, I was reading about the um, how they environmentally responsible, um, all that good stuff. 
it's great to know what they do but right under there they're saying so they're saying that the needle is constructed from high quality aluminum both are very high really really good quality aluminum um and they say in each point is precision turned and hand polished allowing the stitches to glide effortlessly yes you the stitches glide effortlessly um at first it's not as effortlessly with these but actually it becomes like really almost perfect like really i prefer more slip um that's why i would like to work more with them and i think they will get to this point of uh stitches gliding so it's faster process for me because i'm a fascinator um and then they're so they're 100 percent made in us these are made in china uh from when i talked to suzanne that's what she said and uh the etch the markings uh all of the like markings the sizes all of that is done here in us but that cuts the cost and they have a very sustainable, they, they have a really good relationship with one of the, the uh, 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 firms, people that make it for them. So they know they don't exploit kids or anything like that. Um, the manufacturer is, is, is decent. So uh, how do we know? We never would never know, I guess. But that gives you um, a reasonably priced needle set. So when I was on the Signature Needle Arts website, uh, I read this, which I laughed so hard. Oh my gosh. So they're talking about environmentally responsive pra responsible practices, which is great. It's good to know. I would love to know that. And then somewhere in the middle of that paragraph, I'll include that in here. It says that uh, it says that their facility located within eight miles of Illinois border and the anodizing supplier selected uh, does the great job. All of that good stuff. It's good to know they 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 are very descriptive. This is what I would like to see with Gold Tip. Uh, more information, more information on website on 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 the original website, and then they say that that all of that manufacturing all of that results in both lower cost to the consumer and the ability to maintain our commitment to environmentally friendly processes lower cost what this is a 47 dollar needle 47 if you check out the sets Um, almost $400 for a set that you have to choose the length of the cable. Uh, exactly. It, it's not, you can't order custom custom. You have to contact them, but it, it's, uh, it's a lot of money for not very good cables, good needles, but, but I would prefer to see consistent long tip throughout not shorter tip with smaller needles so signature bolt tip identical uh tip length uh, in all of the needles um why that long tip when you slide the stitch through by the time it gets to the base it creates that perfect stitch that create that is uniform and when you knit it let me show you this let me show you this so this part was worked with check goose it's it's okay um i was working with uh, smaller needles here i botched this project but it's it's all right sometimes you just have to do it so this was check goose uh just regular needles just regular metal needles not forte set nothing like that this Look at this. This is so even. I'm going to try and fold it and show it to you if I can. This was done. This part was done with gold tip. I just put and, and worked one row or two uh, rows with uh, signature needle arts. But all right. So this is Che Goose. This. Look at this. I didn't try. I didn't do anything. It's just stunning like perfect stitch i 
I tried, I tried so hard to just, you know, create a looser stitch or it's almost impossible to do. I love that, that tip, um, just normally and perfectly creates the perfect stitch and it, they're, they're so even it, it's, it blows my mind away how, how great it is. Um, while we here, the joints here are very smooth, very smooth. Um, these I never tightened. I never use the tightening tool ever. And they stay put through all of my projects. I was working, unfortunately, I can show you some projects. Uh, a lot of them I, I don't mind showing. Uh, this one I can't. Um, that one I was working magic loop tight. It's a very narrow neckline, um, tight stitches sometimes because of my techniques. Not once this needle came undone, not, not even once. This is so good and I never use the tightening tool. So if I were to use a tightening tool, uh, I mean, this is mind blowing, all right? Um, okay. What else do I want to say? Uh, easier transition. So signature needle arts, uh, this is much thicker going to narrower. Um, uh, these I think are swivel. What I noticed and when I talked to Suzanne, I'll talk more about Suzanne in, in a little bit because I was able to get a hold of her and talk to her. But what is good about this is, um, it, it's much narrower and the stitches just glide through it easier onto the needle, off the needle. And uh, some of the cables do twist. I don't know why, but they're not, they're not swiveled, nothing like that. But some do, I don't know, I don't understand why, but they don't come undone or anything like that. Not yet, at least. So that's what happened, what happens here. Um, I like that, that narrower, uh, almost like, almost, very similar to Chagut or Chagut Forte. Let me just pull one out. These are different sizes, but you can you can see um, you can see it gets narrower to the base, and this join the the way the way this is created it's it's really really good. I didn't check if Chagut uh, cables will fit this. I, I didn't yet, but I will. And the tips are similar, but slightly shorter on Chagu's, if I were to compare the Forte set. Um, in the, in, like, the way it feels, the Forte set feels similar, very similar to this needle. Um, in weight and in, in feel, that wood part, that wooden part, that black wood, is very similar to this uh, anodized aluminum. That, that's that's what I noticed. The tip, um, same tip actually. Um, when Suzanne created it, she didn't want, so I do like sharp tip. Um, let's just go to high highest, that's the sharpest tip ever. Um, I do like the sharp tip, but sometimes I hurt myself with high highest. Um, Chagus, I might from time to time but because of the very long tip, it's not very sharp with gold tip needles. Uh, by any means, it's not sharp. Um, it's, it's like stilettos. So the signature needle arts, I have stilettos only. I don't have their muddy, meaty, meaty, whatever it is. It's only stilettos that I have. They're thicker. They're not quite as uh, sharp as gold tip but because of the length of it, the gold tip is very easy. I was working on bobbles and some other stuff and picking up different strands of mohair and unspun yarn. And I was working with Surya Alpaca and something else. It was very easy. Sometimes those thin, thin threads, it was very, very easy to pick up with gold tip needle. Very easy. Um, it's not, by any means sharp. It never hurt my, my fingers and I'm the pusher. I would push on the needle with my finger to help guide the stitches through. Uh, so I would, I never had experienced discomfort with these. 
and they're light. But if you're switching, uh, I was working with Chai Goose and I switched to these, uh, these Chai Goose. So I was working with just regular metal Chai Goose and I switched to these. That's when I saw the stitch. Uh, so my stitch, same size needles. Um, I already mentioned that and my stitches were twice the size of the ones that I was working on this. Um, still not sure why it happened because later on I tried the same thing. Maybe I gotten used to working with these and they were just so new that I just wasn't used to it. I don't know. If you have the same experience, let me know. Or if you know why, I don't know. The next time I worked with it or I'm working with size four millimeter now, uh, the gauge is on point uh, to Chagoose uh, four millimeter needle. But there, I have no idea what happened, but it was different. And coming from the sleek metal to slightly grippier material, uh, aluminum, before it was smoothed out or oiled um, or worked with, it was different experience. It was harder for me to adjust to the long tip. So keep in mind those things that when you transfer from one needle to another needle, it's it's gonna be different experience. You have to get used to it, experience it for yourself and then see, do I like it or do I not like it at all? Um, overall, I happen to like it a lot. Yes, I do not like the cables as much as I, sorry about that. The light just came on we'll, we'll stay like that it's automatically comes on in the evening um, and we're gonna have a very bright uh, I should have just turned it on earlier I guess sorry about that um, so that's that's what it is EDD at its best right light comes on and the thoughts just whew. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention while I'm on on the uh, Signature Needle website uh, is with frequently asked questions. Um, they're saying, how do I store? It was saying something about the cables. They monogram them. That's what they known for. I. It's nice to know, but I would prefer a good cable over monogrammed needle. Um, they're saying that Oh, I can't. When you want to find it, you can find it. Um, they're saying that their cables are kink free. We offer a flexible cable that should not kink, should not or would not, not should, not would. It does a lot. So I am unhappy about that. And I'm unhappy about their the sizing. I am very happy about the needle itself. This was. Uh, before gold tip needle, this was my absolutely favorite needle as far as the tip goes, as far as the handle, uh, because they were light and easy to work with. And the stitches were like, the stitch definition was great with these. So gold tip replaced them. Um, not fully, because I would like a little more slip to it. And sometimes the sound can, like the, the sensory experience can, um, it depends my mood, I don't know. It depends on a lot of things, right? So um, maybe, I, I don't mind the, the, at least it comes in in a case, you know, but maybe a little bit more improvement to just have, have one case with like most, I mean, if, if you, if you stuff it full of all of the accessories that you need, it won't be a case, it'll be a bag. Um, so this is okay. Um, this is more than okay, all right? This is a luxurious, this is a luxurious thing. Uh, so don't take me wrong. This is a lot more than okay, but I still have my preferences. I would probably um, prefer the, uh, the elastic holding the needles. Um, I would prefer to have, I, I grabbed the Lantern Moon by uh, the Swivel once, by some mistake. I would prefer these to be more flexible um, and kink free. Oh, let me show you this. This is what I keep forgetting. So I kept this coiled. This is um, this is gold tip. And there we go. This would be the Chegu Swift. 
right? There's two of them here, one, one of them here. Let me just try and unfold it. So let's unfold both of them. One will fall, but here, this is the longer one. So this I specifically just, just coiled there. But see what I mean? The gold tip will stay slightly, will keep the shape slightly. And the this one, it does hold a little bit of the shape too, but it unfolded fully. See what I mean? So is it a major thing? No, but it's easier to work with, with more flexible with um, magic loop than, than with, with more like sturdier kind. Um, that's just a note. Um, what else? I believe that's most of it. I hope this is good enough review. I will uh, add more to it and I will review it again in the future. Um, so I was able, as I was, uh, because I was so interested in the set, I wanted to, the more I experienced it, the more I liked it. The more I liked it, the more I wanted to know how it was created, why it was created. And I wanted to find out all about the creator and, and her thoughts about like, what, what was the process? Why? Uh, because from the a minute and a half video on YouTube of the creator of Suzanne Leck, uh, telling how she created it during COVID. Um, it's just not enough information for me. I would prefer a little more. I couldn't find uh, contact information on her website, which she's updating, but uh, I wanted to ask a few questions. So I found her through amazing threads. Uh, she called me almost immediately and we started talking and I asked her a few questions. Um, so she is planning on, uh, let me tell her, so, who, who is she? She was, she's from Welsh, UK. She lives in the US right now. Uh, she is a ballerina. Uh, I was, but I mean, once a doctor, always a doctor, right? Once a ballerina, always a ballerina. So she danced for New York uh, Ballet Company and uh, in New York. I'm not sure if it's New York Ballet Company, but uh, she uh, was a, a ballerina in New York. I don't know how to say it properly. And then she danced um, in, Ch in Chicago. So um, now uh, she just decided to venture out. And uh, during COVID, while she had a little slowdown with work and everything else, she decided to create uh, the perfect needles um, for her. It took her a long time. Um, and she had a little bit of a help um, of the person that used to work on the medical equipment, needles and such. So with his help, um, she created this set. And this set, um, I'm trying to see if the red cable will actually fit the needles. I just thought about it for some reason and I just decided, let me try and do that right here, right now. Um, it's hard to put, it seems like it will fit, but no, it doesn't. No, it won't. Let's see if this with 360 will fit it. It's, it's a tight squeeze. It's, it's not, don't try. Just, yeah, just don't try it. It's kind of seems that it will, it, it won't. No, just keep the original ones because the original ones, uh, they just go in as smooth as butter. Look at this. This is amazing. And that's it. If you just do that, it's done. It will stay put. You tighten it with a tool. It, uh, it never got undone for me. Maybe because it's a longer tip. Did I mention it's a six inch tip? And going back to talk with Diane, uh, with Diane talk with Suzanne. Um, I was asking her how long it took to create it and she said it took like over the year to finalize the how narrow the tip should be it should not be too sharp it should not be too blunt it should not be so all of those things and she wanted to create a six inch uh, needle to be able to uh, work on fair isle easier because you can spread out the stitches uh, so she's very thoughtful about those little things uh, she thought them through really really well and um, she's working on DPNs. Uh, hopefully next year she will have a four inch tip set. 
uh, which I, I cannot wait for because I need those four inch tips for, well, different things, mostly uh, really small circumferences. Um, the other thing that I just remembered is the smallest, the shortest um, cable that comes in the set, this one, this one. Um, it's a 24 inch. That's what it said online. If you, I ju I'm just going to show it to you. So I just, you know, I'm just going to show it to you. It's okay to work on um, larger circumferences, but see what I mean? If I am sometimes I need this, this motion to keep them straight and it's kind of hard to get them to this point. It's okay. It's doable. But when you work with it, the, it will restrict you. A little bit so the smallest cable um uh if she will come up sometime soon with a smaller tip a shorter tip i would use this cable for that uh for this um i might but i might just uh, work with magic loop on a smaller or any any sort of smaller circumference and just be done with it so um just taking all of that into consideration, she created a really beautiful, luxurious set. It looks luxurious. It feels luxurious. Um, yes, I have a few things. Just the way, my opinion, it's my opinion, uh, and the way that I knit and the way that I prefer the stitches to glide a little faster, that would be my little con. But considering all of those things, if I would put all of the things together, Signature Needle Arts, the, the, the needle was my go-to. It was like everything I lived, breathed, everything. The cable sucked, but the needle was so good. And I hate it that you have to buy different uh, needles, different cables, like lengths. It's, it, it was just getting too much here uh, for a, an affordable price. I'm not saying it's cheap. It's affordable price that she wanted to create. Um, very thoughtful. Um, she had to go to specific, um, she had to outsource it to get the price down. Um, so if you're conscious, if, if, just just see if, if this set is for you basically. But that's what it is. I love the set. I would love to see more. I talked to her and I asked her if she will be uh, producing uh, maybe a newsletter. So we are kept up to date with uh, how things are going and if she will produce any any more sets in, in the future and she's working in DPNs and some other things. So um, I would love to see more from Gold Tip and I would like to experience more. Uh, she also talked about maybe um, having uh, like a limited set, something like like this one, you know, like check you maybe sometimes like uh, Christmas limited sets, something like that would be nice. Um, so I can't wait to see what's in store there and what she will produce. I'm very excited about this brand. I want uh, to knit more with these needles. I found myself addicted. I found myself just reaching out for those needles and I have at this point five projects. Uh, I barely have that many, but I wanted to, uh, just to see how different needles act and, um, and they, I caught myself reaching for these needles more and more and more. Um, this is my little opinion um, of this beautiful set. I'll play with it more. This is initial. This is just initial. And I'll review more uh, and compare it more to this because this uh, until uh, gold tip was my absolute favorite new discovery. Uh, this limited Forte Chagu set. Uh, is quite amazing, but different feel, different material, um, both produced in China. It's the same, same, same thing. Not the same needle, not the same thing, but um, they both produce there if you care about that stuff. Um, they feel the same, although they're not the same, um, but I like to work with them both. And Chagoos were my go-to needle. Um, right now, we'll see, maybe maybe Gold Tip will, will, will be it. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it will be between the Jagu and Gold Tip and I will be switching back and forth because it's still like the, the, the metal ones are still my favorite, by the way. If I were to unfold, I keep them folded and I kept them folded. So I wanted to see if it will, yeah, it comes, it still holds the shape, even the red twist. So the Sweet 360 is 
a little bit more flexible and slightly better as far as the kinks go. Um, the red twist uh, would still hold the shape, but they're more flexible still. So that's what I, uh, my little, little thing there that I would like to see in gold tip. Um, anything else um, would be on my blog when I post it, uh, it'll be in the newsletter. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I was talking to Suzanne for, oh my gosh, almost like two hours probably. Uh, on and off, uh, she is an amazing person, thinking about a lot of those little different things. And I like that, that uh, OCD, that, that perfectionism that's coming out. So as she says, it's a work in progress. It's better things done than things perfect. So this is, as far as I'm concerned, uh, with all of the little things that I have to say about it that are cons for me, this is a perfect set for me uh, so far. I mean, and it's a work in progress, right? So I would like to see more from, from Suzanne Leck. Uh, see what she has to produce. I am curious. It's, uh, I, I wanna know. I mean, this is the first set that she created. She wasn't a well-known brand, Chegu, or Signature Arts with their marketing. It's just one person um, that that just wanted to produce a really good needle, and I think she achieved that. Um, those are my two cents and a gold tip. Um, any information you will find out below um, where you can find it, uh, the contact and all details. I uh, I was told will be updated with 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 time. So just be patient. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you want to ask Suzanne anything, I can reach out to her and I can always ask her. If you would like to see her on my Needcast, I might arrange that. Um, you can, I don't know how to do it yet, but I'll figure it out. So let me know in the comments below what you would like. Um, if you do have gold tip needles and you have anything to say about it, good or bad, please provide it in the comments below. I will uh, reach out to Suzanne and let her know what you think. Uh, I'm curious too. Um, and I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for everyone who comments below with their tricks and tips and just regular comments. I had no idea it would be like this. Um, it gives me, it inspires me. And I'm so thankful for, for this, uh, my neat cast. And uh, I will also create a Ravelry in my, on my Ravelry, in my Ravelry group. I will also create, um, did you know? And I would just put all of your excellent tips and tricks in there. I will just keep updating them and keep that as a little journal for me and for you if you come there. So um, check it out. I'll update it probably today or tomorrow. I'll create that little, uh, little question there mark with the comments uh, if you have any extra tips join me there and uh, leave it there let's collect it there and and just go through them and see I mean the, the tips are amazing one latest tip that I, I didn't even think about it was uh, those little um, I'm just gonna refer to Chegu because Chegu has a gold tip doesn't um, Chegu have the those transition little tips and the cord connectors. And somebody said, just use that little tightening hole and put them on um, sometimes English words. Um, put them on the, the, the needle holder. What is it? The, the thingy that holds the, the stitches, the, the needle, the, you know. Comment below if you know. It'll come to me later. English is not my second language. <laughs> okay, English is not my first language. Um, and sometimes just the words escape me. It'll come back to me and I would think, oh my gosh, like, really? But um, just leave it in the comments below. Safety pin, that's what it is. Safety pin, something like that. All right. On that little note, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you next week and thank you for watching. Bye.